look at the size of this package. My goodness. This came from my friend Lauren, who I've never actually pronounced her last name out loud. Runicles? Runicles? <laughs> Lauren. Um, I met Lauren through the Metal Jesus Rocks uh, Facebook, kind of secret Facebook chat room um, through Patreon. And if you're a Patreon of Metal Jesus um, and you have, you're on a certain tier, you're invited to the chat room too. I'm in there. Lauren's in there as well. And um, she lives in Japan. Um, she knows I love Famicom. Um, and she was like, you know what? There's some cheap Famicom games. I'll just make you a little care package, send it your way. And Lauren, I can't thank you enough. This is this is a lot... You told me it was coming. This is a lot bigger of a package than I was expecting. Um, it was a little crushed from uh, thanks to customs and all that. But um, I don't think anything is damaged inside. I opened it up a little bit already. Uh, I caused this hole in the uh, thing. So we're going to see what's inside. And Lauren, I can't thank you enough. Holy moly. There's probably a good at least 10, probably 10, 15 something some odd... Uh, Famicom games in here and they look like individually wrapped too so I'll just kind of take them out one by one I hope my Japanese I know a little bit of katakana if you give me enough time so we'll see if I can figure out what each one is um, man I'm super excited this is this is awesome for me thank you Lauren again I can't I can't thank you enough we have oh cool I don't have this one this is Dragon Ball Dragon Ball came out in America as Ninja something oh Dragon Dragon Power is that the right one um it came out with a with a slightly different skin. I don't have this one though. This is the one I wanted. So already off to a great start. Uh, thank you so much. We have. Oh my goodness! Yes. Um, I don't have this one, and I'm looking for one of every one of every um, wrestling cartridge, every wrestling game. And I have the the English version of this, but I don't have. I did, it's it, curious to know this is from Hot B. It came out um, under the LJN label, probably produced by LJN or probably produced by Hot B. Um, published by LJ or something, or uh, Acclaim, rather. Uh, WrestleMania Challenge on Famicom. Oh, I love, love the white cart. Instruction manual in the back and everything. Man! Awesome, awesome. I'm good. <laughs> I got, <laughs> but there's still more in here, so let me see what else we got here. Doo -doo -doo. This is... Um, oh, I don't know this one. Looks interesting, though. Here, check it out. You know what that one is? I mean, I'll pop it in here uh, later on tonight. I'm going to test these out or play them anyway um I mean, i'm curious to know what this is it's all written it's all kanji uh, a little bit of uh, hiragana above it but i can't i can't make heads or tails of it so i'm looking forward to seeing what that is and sometimes that's my favorite one i like finding like whenever i'm shopping for famicom games at conventions and stuff like that i'll seek these out not having a clue what they are pick them up um i found a lot of hidden gems that way just by picking up random games um oh and i don't have this one i love puzzle games flipful is one game i didn't have um, it's a, um, it's a puzzle game from Taito. It's like, you have to, um, you have to push blocks, but like the, the blocks, like you have a block of a certain type, like shape, or, um, there's like a certain texture or something, like a certain picture on the block and you have to hit a, a likeness of block and then you get one in return and you have to keep doing that until it clears them out. Um, pretty fun puzzle game from Taito. That's awesome. Another one I don't have, Doughboy. <laughs> it's a little kind of army game. It's a lot, it reminds me a lot of like a, like a commando or something. Uh, from Kemco. Interesting to know this is from Kemco. I didn't know that. Um, and this is another one I don't have. So, Lauren, you're doing awesome here. Let's peek my head back in the box here. I'll show it to you since it's already facing you. I see Ultima in the reflection. Ultima, a little heavy. Has that battery in there. Uh, I don't have an Ultima game, so happy to have that in the collection. Lauren, look at you. Another one. This one's called Dungeon and Magic. It's not Dungeon Magic, it's Dungeon and Magic. Dungeon and Magic, Swords of Element. It's an RPG of some kind, a visual RPG, not this text-based RPG nonsense from Natsume. Um, I wonder if it's like our Dungeon Magic. i am curious to find out. Can I go wrong with baseball? I just, and I love how Famicom games look. The super, super clean, different colors. Nice uh, cartoony picture there. Love Famicom games. Love them, I love them. We have another baseball game. This is baseball. Oh, dude, from SNK. I believe it says baseball stars. Is that right? Basu Balu Suta, right? Baseball stars. This is the Famicom baseball stars. That's awesome. Um, it, uh, five star rating in a. 
Pat the NES Punks book recently. All right, they got a couple of Famicom games left. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I was waiting. This is what I was looking for. Uh, this is Superstar Pro Wrestling. Um, if you're familiar with WCW Wrestling in America, this is the game it's based on. Now, WCW um, in America um, features WCW wrestlers at the time. You have Ric Flair. You have Ricky Steamboat. You have Lex Luger. You have Sting. You have the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. Um, but in Japan, it came out of Superstar Pro Wrestling, and it featured likenesses of Japanese wrestlers like Antonio Inoki, like, um, like Andre the Giant, like... Um, uh, who else is in there? Um, um, it also has the Royal Warriors in there too, um, but it, it, it features uh, the Japanese wrestlers in this one. So man, two, two wrestling games I didn't have. All right, final game here. Oh, and you know what's funny about Hattress? I don't even have this for the American Nintendo, so I'm happy to have this for Famicom too. So. Hattress from Bulletproof Software. Um, hats drop down. It's like, like Tetris, but not really like Tetris. Hats drop down. You have to like stack up the hats and all that. So thank you so much. Oh, wait, there's something else in here. Hold on. Let me just take out everything else just to make sure. Don't want to drop anything. I did feel something else. Probably like a receipt or probably part of the cardboard. That was part of the cardboard. Something else. Oh. Is this a, this a disc game? Oh, dude. It is a disc game. For the Famicom Disk System. And I do have... I have not only the Famicom Disk System, I also have uh, the Famicom Twin. That's awesome. I, I, I love Famicom Disk System games. I don't have a lot of discs for it, so I'm always looking for new ones. Uh, this is, uh, looks like it says Volleyball right there. So Volleyball for the Famicom Disk System. Side A and Side B. Now, Side A, because it, you can flip it over. Some games you have to like put it in there, it loads up, you flip it over. Um, this one says Side A is Volleyball, and then Side B... Is something else, and that's something I can't quite read. I wonder if I can. Oh my goodness! Boy, they don't skimp on the tape. They skimp on the box a little bit. Have you noticed that box? Like whenever you order something from Japan, the boxes are always like made out of the like cheapest cardboard. <laughs> it's no offense to Lauren, I promise, but. Um... I want to see what this other game is on the other side here. Ah! You know what? I was going to try to be all nice and neat about it. Just go for it here. All right, we have volleyball on one side, and sometimes there's this sticker on the other side that tells you what the other side is. And uh, this one says nothing. So I'm, I'll find out what it is momentarily. Um, that's kind of a fun little... Oh, on, let, me, let me put this back in here. Oh, I don't want to bend it. Get your Wondersoft World. Little disc coon right there. Oh man, look at Lauren. Lauren, look at this. Thank you for all this. Holy moly. Um, and every single one of these Famicom games. No, you know what? With the except, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I think I do have baseball, which is fine. I'm I'm always happy to have another baseball. But with the exception of that, these all I never I didn't have any of these other Famicom games. Two wrestling type. Oh look at this. I even left one out. Had to get Dragon Ball in the bottom there. Um, two wrestling games I didn't have. Some puzzle games that I'm looking forward to checking out. Well, that one game that I don't even know what it is yet. Um, some classics like Doughboy, which I don't have. It's kind of funny. It's called Doughboy. Picture like the Pillsbury Doughboy coming out there. And <laughs> actually, it might be a make, might make a fun hack in a future episode. So, uh, Lauren, thank you so much. This is awesome. This made my day. Um, not that I'm e begging. However. My address is in the description below if you want to send me something. I love stuff and, uh, you know, I might do another unboxing video or something like that. But this, my goodness, this, this was unsolicited. This was just Lauren saying, hey, I live in Japan. I know you like Famicom. I'm going to hook it up. And Lauren uh, hooked it up for sure. So if you want to be her friend um, and my friend and, uh, and Jason's on there too, Metal Jesus, um, I met her again in the... Now, she's not going to just send you stuff, all right? <laughs> so get that out of your head immediately. Um, however, again, I met her through, uh, through Metal Jesus Rocks Patreon, um, in the Facebook kind of secret chat room. And she's in there and a few of other, uh, like, you know, Steve and other people are in there too. Robert looking at you as well. Jason pops in there. I pop in there. Reggie Wood. I mean, we're all part of this. Uh, Crazy Joe's in there too. So 
Looking forward to checking these out. I thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you dig Famicom. You know I do. And certainly, I can never go wrong with disc system games. They're so hard to find. I can't find them anywhere. So, um, looking forward to checking these out. Um, so, I'm going to turn the camera off so I can get right back into uh, playing some video games. So, thanks a lot. Take care. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you in a coming up video. Thanks for watching. Got John Riggs here.